Into the weekend, Andrew, even a dummy like me has figured out Omicron is not Delta, but it's something, well, there's some mystery to it. What's the biggest mystery with Omicron into this weekend? I think really it, it, it circles around the issue of why this virus seems to be so much more transmissible. Certainly, you know, it has mutations that can invade some of the immune responses that vaccines give you, but it really does seem like this virus is spreading better than other variants for other reasons. And right now we don't really understand what that is, but certainly it seems like people are getting infected in, in conditions that previously were highly unlikely uh, to mediate infection, and that's fueling this massive surge of cases. Uh, transmission is something that's really difficult to study in a laboratory, but it really is one of the things that Omicron is doing fantastically better than any previous variant we've seen. Is there a rho or a zeta after Omicron? I mean, I, I frankly like the geography designations that we used to do in the old days, but do you just assume there's another variant after this one? Uh, there absolutely will be. Um, this virus has already shown the ability to evolve, change, and respond to uh, its new host humans. And it's now showing the ability to try to evade some of the immune responses that are coming down the line. I, I do firmly feel we're on a path to make this disease caused by this virus much more mild, much more contained because we will have population immunity. We will have vaccines that are effectively knocking down severe disease and we'll eventually have antivirals that are distributed to help limit that. So there are ways that we can control this disease, but this virus will be around for a long time and it's looking more and more like we're gonna have to deal with this like we deal with seasonal influenza. Andy, when do we get to that point where we have enough, whether it's herd immunity or just immunity in the general population, with also the remedies, the antivirals and the vaccines, where we can basically go back to life as it is, basically treat this like the common cold or the flu? Well, I really do feel like this surge of Omicron cases is really going to be the tipping point because with the massive number of cases, and let's be clear, some of the official counts are probably underestimates of the true number of cases that are out there right now because of a number of reasons. But this surge of Omicron cases may be what really pushes us over that border to enough immunity in the population so that transmission is limited and therefore, you know, the likelihood of getting infected will be a little bit lower going going forward from here. How do people avoid getting sick? Well, it really comes down to the basic principles we've been talking about, perhaps boost it up a little bit. Uh, I'm a big believer now that people should be really thinking about wearing KN95 masks um, or double masking with a surgical mask and a facial covering on top of that. I think that this increased transmission of Omicron requires people to take an even greater um, uh, effort to try to limit their exposures. And again, masking is one thing. The other social distancing issues that we've talked about um, are important to continue to do. Uh, do as much work as you can remotely, uh, but when you're going into situations where you're going to be exposed to people, realize that you need to up your game in terms of the things you do to protect yourself and be wary of, uh, uh, of getting infected.